In the Senate chamber, the PhD candidate, flanked by two assistants, known as paranymphs, stands at one side of the Senate table. The opposition committee will soon take its place to the other side. As the beadle leads the committee into the room, everyone rises, and the candidate and the paranymphs turn towards the committee. When everyone is seated, the Rector Magnificus, or the Substitute Rector, opens the ceremony. Mr. Candidate, you confront a committee which was appointed by the Council of Deans and which is charged with the task of examining both your dissertation and the theses submitted therewith. The PhD candidate listens to the first question and formulates an answer beginning with the words Zeer geleerde opponents. The answer always starts in Dutch with Hooggeleerde opponents for a professor and Zeer geleerde opponents for all other members of the committee. After the candidate has answered the questions of the first opponent, the Rector Magnificus gives the floor to the next member. Then the discussion will be continued by Professor Carlson from Uppsala University. Whom I In this way, all welcome. committee members have the opportunity to ask their questions to the candidate. Once 45 minutes have passed, the door opens and the beadle enters, calling... All discussion is immediately stopped and the Rector Magnificus addresses the candidate. Mr. Candidate, the time allotted to the examination of your dissertation and its theses has passed. The committee withdraws in order to deliberate. I request that you and your company await our return here. Everyone stands as the committee leaves the Senate chamber. After a few unnerving minutes, the committee is brought back in by the beadle. As everyone, including the PhD candidate, takes their seat, the paranymphs remain standing. The Rector Magnificus has the floor. Mr. Candidate, we have examined your dissertation and the theses appended thereto. We have heard your defence and we have considered the reports by the faculty concerning your previous study. On the basis of this, we have decided to admit you to the doctorate. Professor Hugelaar is empowered to confer that dignity upon you in the customary fashion. Then the doctoral supervisor addresses the candidate. Volgaarne aanvaard ik de taak mij door de rector magnificus der universiteit opgedragen. The opposition committee and the candidate stand. Uit kracht dan van de bevoegdheid ons bij wet toegekend volgens het besluit van de commissie hier tegenwoordig verklaar ik bij deze u Dirk Jan Ali Roelof Moes te bevorderen tot dokter. Ten bewijze hiervan zal u het diploma door rector, secretaris en promotoris ondertekend en met het grootzegel der universiteit bevestigd ter hand worden gesteld. The secretary hands over the diploma and everyone but paranyms takes a seat. The doctoral supervisor continues. Having completed the duty assigned to me, I may be the first to address you as doctor and to congratulate you on the award of the dignity you have obtained. This honourable distinction is a well-deserved and highly valued privilege. At the same time, you are called upon never to lose sight of the obligations it opposes on you in the name of science and society. Then the doctoral supervisor or another research advisor holds a laudation of approximately three minutes, after which the rector closes the ceremony with the words, It is an agreeable duty for me, very learned sir, to congratulate you upon your degree, also on behalf of the university and its council of deans. And herewith I declare this ceremony closed. Everyone rises and the members of the opposition committee exit the Senate chamber. <laughs>